good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to Windy Pepper Mill here again for the Edinburgh Uni versus Cardiff Met um, focus fixture. Yeah, very excited. Looking forward to the game today. Um, so with you today, I'm Meryl. And I'm Anne, and uh, we'll be your commentators for today and hopefully guide you through this game. Yeah, looking forward to it. There's a couple of big teams ready to, to go, lots of stars. Yeah, no, there's, it's definitely going to be a good competition. I think the last time these two teams played, um, it was a very close game. So we're hoping for another big performance and hopefully it'll be some good rugby for you guys to watch. Yeah, definitely. Last time was away in Cardiff. Edinburgh won 20 points to 7, I believe. Very tight game. So I imagine it'll be similar today. Yeah, here's hoping. As always, Pepper Mill um, is extremely windy. The sun has gone away, um, but it doesn't look like it's going to rain. So hopefully it'll get some good conditions um, so we can get some fast flowing rugby for you guys. So the lineup for today, the Cardiff team has a relatively unchanged outfit from the past six games. Um, we have twin props, Rosie and Katie Carr, starting um, alongside their captain, Nell Kirkby, at number eight. She has two tries to her name this season. Um, and then at number 10 is Lauren Smith, um, coming in with 12 caps for Wales and also obtaining a couple of sevens caps, so it'll be interesting to see how she gets on um, at controlling the game, especially in these windy conditions. Um, Cardiff have played six games so far and they've won two. As it stands, they're fifth in the table, um, so it will be interesting to see if they can get some more points on the board and maybe move their way up. Yes, definitely. Uh, Edinburgh have had a slightly more successful start to the season, winning four games out of the last six. Uh, missing a few players today, but still very strong sides. We've got uh, a big battle at 10 today. Sarah Denham, the captain for Edinburgh, going up against Lauren Smith of Cardiff. Imagine that would be a very tough battle. Both key players in their team looking to, to do well and use their experience with the national setup. Sarah having a couple of caps for Scotland at 15s and at 7s. We've also got uh, Kieran Bell on the wing. She's top, joint top try scorer this season with eight tries to her name. So I imagine she'll be very active today, running down the wing, and hopefully getting adding to that tally. Yes, yeah, are the other eight tries top try scorer coming from my co-commentator here, Mel Smith, um, also sharing her eight try tally. So unfortunately, she's not able to contribute to the score <laughs> sheet today. But let's hope Kieran gets managed yes. to get a few tries running down the wing. Yes, I won't be too upset if Kieran takes over my tally. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get it back eventually. <laughs> Um, Cardiff do have quite an impressive credential sheet this week with a majority of their players having competed at regional or county level um, across a number of sports. 
um, alongside Edinburgh Uni with a number of players involved in the Scottish Futures setup. So definitely a lot of talent on show today. Um, so we're hoping for a, a fierce, a fierce battle. Yes, I think it will be. Yeah, both sides, lots of experience, trying to put that to good use. Of course, the end of before Christmas, both both teams last played start of December, I think. So it has mm -hmm. been a couple months before since each team has played so hopefully they've, they've dusted off the cobwebs in the past few weeks at training and I'm sure it will be a good game. Yeah, um, in terms of the uni team we have Eliane uh, returning to the team sheet at number one having had a few games off with illness and um, we have Kirsty Martin on the bench hoping to make her ELRC debut. She has been focusing on touch with the uni and with Scotland but she's hopefully to making her debut off the bench as centre. Um, we've also got Sarah Donnelly on the bench hoping to come on at tight head and um, hoping to make her season debut which was exciting um, and as Meryl mentioned the, the battle of the ten Sarah having despite her age a wealth of experience so hoping to lead lead the ship, captain the ship very well. Yes definitely I think it'll be a uh Hoping for a high-scoring game today as well. Both teams, well, Edinburgh especially notorious for getting quite a lot of tries this season. 39 tries so far. That's um, averaging, I believe, 40 points a game. Oh, really? So yeah, 40 points. Oh. 6.5 tries. If you're interested in the stats. So um, yes, I imagine Kieran will get on the end of that. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it looks like the teams are getting ready to huddle, having their team talk final preparations, just getting themselves ready um, for the big game ahead. Yes, and of course, we've got uh, Holly Davidson as our referee today. Very lucky for us. Of course, she's got a wealth of experience at the highest level, recently being at the Olympics, I believe. So we're very lucky, grateful that she would come down today to referee our game. Definitely a great occasion uh, uh, with lots of experienced officials and experienced players. So um, hopefully you'll join us for the full 80 to experience some high-level rugby in this, what it is, a really high-level league, the National Bucks League, um, six top teams in the whole of the UK um, competing. So it's um, a very, very big step forward for women's rugby and um, a really good demonstration of how far women's rugby has come in this country. So Yeah, definitely. So Sarah Denham looks to start for Edinburgh. Tough kicking into the wind. So we'll see how we start. Hopefully start strong from both teams. And we're off. Oh, tough take oh. from Cardiff. A bit of a scrappy ball. And Edinburgh get the first scrum of the game. Yeah, big scrum. We've got um, Ellis Martin at Hooker returning from her Alliance Premier 15s um, debut for Sale Shark. So hopefully she can make a big impact in there. Um, and as I mentioned, Eliane coming in at one and Grace Lynn as in at tight head. So um, hoping for a big powerful push from Uni. Um, but the card of, as I mentioned, the twins. And the, um, yeah, they've both played Ospreys under 18, I think, and involved in the Welsh Rugby League training squad. So, so yeah. Lots of experience there as well. So it's bound to be a big battle at scrum time for both teams. And go Edinburgh with the quick ball. Rhea Clark passes away, first pass. Nice move there from Edinburgh. And that's Holly with the break, managed to get the offload away. There we go, Edinburgh getting the ball wide early. Looking quite strong in attack there. Some good forward momentum, let's hope they can keep this up and really build from here. Cardiff look pretty strong so far, getting set early. Carry there from Martin. Edinburgh doing well to keep getting around the corner, getting it wide. Oh, no space there. Sarah doing well to boss the forwards in front of her, getting them set early. Love being told what to do as forward <laughs> by the backs. And Edinburgh with the advantage. I'm sure Sals will be looking to make the most of that. Oh, she does well, gets past oh, a few. Oh, oh and Eliana with a strong carry. Oh, and it's a try I, to Edinburgh. Wow. A what a carry from Eliane. A really, really great try there from Edinburgh. From the off, had a lot of intensity, really created forward momentum, um, didn't let up, and uh, Eliane goes over with a really, really strong carry from her. I think that might be her first try of the season. She's, as Anne was saying, she's had a bit of time off through injury, but that's a great start, great way to come back from that. 
Absolutely, the kick is going to be a tough one, I think, with the swirling yeah. wind round here at Piffer Mill. But um, I'm sure Stan's got in there to get it over. Yeah, I think she's not been, uh, not done any kicking so far this season. I've, I've been doing that. Uh, you've, so. you've, done most, <laughs> you've been doing most of the kicking. I'm sure Stan's been getting a practice in the past couple of weeks. Maybe up to the occasion. This is not an easy first kick either, straight into the wind. It's a good effort, but that's tough. So it's 5 0 to Edinburgh then. Yeah, really great start from Uni. Let's just hope they can uh, keep building on this. But I'm sure um, Cardiff, with a really strong outfit here, will, will be keen to come back um, and show what they can do. Good take there from Holly McIntyre. I'm sure Edinburgh will be looking to exit here, but with the strong winds, I'm not sure that's going to be an option today. It's definitely a, a hard kick into that wind. I think Peffin Mill is definitely known for its windy days. There's mm. never, a, never a still day here. <laughs> definitely has its own microclimate, and yeah. I can attest to that. Um, yeah, I say if you can, if you can kick at Peffin Mill, I think you can kick anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you would know too. There, <laughs> me, not so much experience with that. No, no. Mm. Edinburgh getting forwards in the ruck very quickly, get a quick ball there for Rhea. Some really good possession from uh, Edinburgh here, but they uh, maybe should look to either clear their lines or um, get out their own 22. Yeah. Just going through the phases at the moment. Doing well, but the Cardiff defence is holding strong. Looks like there might be space on wide. Good carry from, I think that's Natasha Logan there. Really good leg pump. Yeah, she's just in her first year this year, but she's really made an impact coming into the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, starting in at second row pretty much every game. Um, a really good line-out option and a really good carrier. So she's been very impressed with her this season. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and, and Uni have advantage. I think Cardiff are offside there. Let's see what they can do with this. Looking to ship it wide there. Oh. Can't quite make the most of that, but they'll come back for the penalty. Cardiff, I think, need to be careful with their discipline there. There's um, giving Edinburgh like free out from their own halfway line, so maybe just uh, tightening up on that, and then hopefully they can um, build some phases. Interesting to see Edinburgh going for the kick. Good to see that Sarah's backing herself in this, as we've said, <laughs> tough conditions. <laughs> this tough conditions. It's going to be a general theme for the day, I think, the, yeah. <laughs> the windy conditions. Oh, Cardiff have done well to keep it in, but Edinburgh have got the ball there. So they do keep possession. Up to around halfway now, Edinburgh. That's another penalty to Edinburgh. I'm not sure whether that, I'm not rolling away, no. I think. Oh, Marie goes for the quick tap this time. Getting the ball wide from... That's a lovely pass. Another here. carry from Ellie, another strong carry from Eliane. Getting that extra metre. Edinburgh doing really well to get the quick ball, shipping it wide, and there's Kieran on the wing, using that speed. And she's dragged down just short of the try line. Some excellent defence for Cardiff. Now it's back to the forwards to hit it up. Kira has clattered in the tackle to Cardiff. Cardiff fence holding up strong here. You can hear the Edinburgh support, it's quite strong today. It's great getting the team going. And I'm seeing a couple of Welsh flags in the yes. crowd though, so it's nice to see that some of the uh, Cardiff supporters have travelled this long way. Yeah, I imagine there's just the two of them, but I think they're they're still very loud. <laughs> yeah. Edinburgh still managed to retain possession here with Holly McIntyre on the carry. Cardiff are over the ball though, and I think they've won the penalty. Yep, they've been given the penalty for holding on. Some really good deep from Cardiff there. Go through the phases, keeping Edinburgh out, and then to win the turnover. Yeah, I think as much as the defence is very good from Cardiff, Edinburgh disappointed that they couldn't capitalise on that. Uh, maybe getting a bit of the white line fever and forcing it a bit too early. But again, some really good attack. And the penalty, Lauren misses touch there. So Edinburgh will be able to run it back. Abby's with the ball. Great handoff. And Edinburgh coming, coming through the phases again. Coming down the blind. Casey with the carry. It's 
just great support in Bren and we're getting quick. Yeah, Cardiff aren't really getting a look in at ruck time at the moment. Another strong carry from Saz. And we're looking to go the same way, I think the number's on. Big carry from Polly. Cardiff really looking to compete at these rucks now. I think one of the notable things I remember playing them last time, and it's quite evident in this game, is their physicality. They're a very physical team, coming in with the big hits, really making it difficult for Edinburgh at contact time. Yeah, definitely. I think struggling a bit with the discipline there. Edinburgh with another penalty for Cardiff offside. Cardiff will need to be careful. Um, there's too many penalties. They might be looking at a card soon. <laughs> Sarah looking to kick for the corner again. Not quite reaching it this time either. And Cardiff are running it back now. The wind really not in our favour today. I saw a penalty to Cardiff, I believe. I think it was for a high tackle with the looks of things. Just Edinburgh just need to drop their tackle height a little bit. I think it's Lauren Smith taking the kick. Really good kick, getting the distance on that one, making sure it goes out. So this will be the first line out of the game. Um, yeah, it, like I was mentioning before, a big a big contest in the forward pack today. We've already seen it at scrum time, so um, we'll see how the throwing goes in the wind and if our jumpers can get up nice and high. And yeah, Cardiff do have a, an experienced second row back row, so I'm sure they'll be looking to make the most of that. But it's knocked on there, so Edinburgh have the ball and the advantage, and it's going back to the scrum. So scrum to uni there, Edinburgh uni. Apologies for calling it uni. <laughs> <laughs> they are both universities. So. Yeah, it's bad habits. <laughs> bad habits. <laughs> so a really good attacking opportunity here from Edinburgh. I'm sure Sarah will be looking to make the most of the backs, try and get the ball out wide, I imagine. Mm. I'm sure Kieran will be eager to get hands on ball. Eager to take over your, um, your <laughs> try scoring. Well, yeah. Edinburgh Uni have had the majority of the possession in this game, Cardiff have been um, on defence most of the time, so it'll be good to see if they can get hands on ball and um, get some phases together. Yeah, definitely. Very strong scrum there. And Sarah with the loop. Oh, oh, lovely. Getting it wide. Getting it wide. And Holly with it. Oh, and Holly's through. through. Oh, oh a lovely tackle. tap tackle, tap -tackle there Holly's from the number going. 14. Get the support over. Amy Goodwin, a that really great tap tackle. tackle. Back in the in the 22, the curve 22. It's a lovely line from Siobhan there. And I think it's held up by Cardiff, so it'll be a goal line dropout. I'm not sure what happened with those yet this season, with the, the new laws. Now that if the ball's held up over the try line, it's the defending team's drop kick. Yeah, instead of the five metre scrum, which was used to be, I think it was brought in just to reward defences a little bit. Um, yeah. I do think it's a good addition. I imagine as a, as a kicker, you're pretty pretty relieved that there's no more five metre scrums. Wow, I mean, it's a really great attacking opportunity. Oh, Bell's just tried to catch it, the, the, the drop out as it's not gone out, but she's knocked on in the process. So it'll be a scrum to Cardiff. I imagine Edinburgh will be quite disappointing. That was a really good attacking opportunity up on the five metre line. So now it's a Cardiff scrum just outside their 22. So but this will be the first at attacking opportunity for Cardiff, I believe. Yeah. So exciting to see what they have in store. If they'll try and play it wide early or if they're just going to carry. They are deep inside their own half, so maybe a bit early to be playing with it. Scrum's gone down there. I think it's just going to be a reset. Not sure. Not sure. We're not. We're not in the best angle to see what's <laughs> going on. We're behind the fence, but yes, we have um, been banished. <laughs> we, but we have been banished from from the sideline. But um, hopefully, reset and go again. Yes, I never quite understand when a scrum goes down. What's actually happened? And I'm not sure if you have any more insight. <sighs> to be honest, I don't really have any more insight. <laughs> um, my head's usually on the floor, ah. or some. Yeah, something's gone wrong. Not sure what it is though. No, just I keep outside and. Stay far away from it. So it's just pushing, isn't it? It's just pushing. Just pushing, yeah. It's a strong scrum there from Cardiff. Uh, oh, and they look to get it wide. They do well there. Uh, good wins on the run, carrying, oh, offloading it. Do well to keep that. Oh, and the grubber through from Neve Timmon. Sa Sarah Denham's managed to pick it up, though, That's and Edinburgh now have possession with Kirsty Ainsworth carrying the ball. 
really strong attack from Cardiff though, good to see what they've got in store. Lots of options there, with some really good lines, mm. and even getting the grubber in. So it's a hard Edinburgh thing to do. To be wary of that. Yeah. Coming down the blind side, Ellie Ann Clark with a, another strong carry. She's gotten about today already, um, with a few good carries in there, making some da doing some damage to the Cardiff defence. But the Cardiff tackling is holding up pretty strong, and Edinburgh still pinned in their own half. Some really good carries from Edinburgh, looking to get that tip in. Some really good support lines as well. Mm. And Saz with the kick now. Oh, great kick. Not, not really anyone covering for Cardiff. Manages to find the, some grasp. Oh, Astro, I should say. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. Off and under from Neve Tinman again. She seems keen to get the kicks in. She's, funnily enough, capped under 19's football for Wales, so maybe that's why. Yeah, got she, a keen boot on her. She does. M make, the, make the most of that, I think. Absolutely. Another uh, one of the many impressive accolades that the Cardiff team hold. Edinburgh with the ball again. Tr using the tipping option. Not looks sure like not rolling away there, there in the, ta the tackle, but uh, it seems to be play on for now. It's been a pretty relentless first 10, 15 minutes. So both teams are looking pretty knackered, I'm not surprised. It's been very full on. Yeah, not a lot of stoppage time. Um, exhausting for both teams in attack and defence, I think. I can't tell which one's more exhausting. Cardiff with the quick throw and there's no one home for Edinburgh. Sarah's chasing back. Cardiff team are coming up strong. Oh. She's managed to ship the ball out oh. and uh, Watkins has dropped it. So it will be a scrum to Cardiff. That was a really good option from Lauren Smith, I think. I think it was Lauren Smith who kicked that. Yeah, it was definitely. A really good kick from her, recognising that there's no one in the backfield um, and Edinburgh just weren't prepared. So. Yeah, Edinburgh switched off a little bit there, thought the line out was coming, but Cardiff got in with the quick throw and beat them to it. Yeah, now they've got uh, an attacking scrum in the Edinburgh 22. Yeah, really good opportunity right in the midfield. I'm sure there'll be options both sides. Really hard to defend. Uh, a rare stoppage in play now as uh, McCulloch gets some treatment. Um, hopefully she's okay, doesn't look too serious. She's standing up or kneeling up, I must say. But a chance for both teams to kind of reconvene and talk tactics and tell them yeah. what they can maybe fix in the next, the next 20 minutes of this half. I'm sure both coaches are on giving lots of feedback. Kira will be back up in no time. Just catching her breath, perhaps. Perhaps, yeah. It's pretty intense. I know. Yeah, definitely. The last time we played Cardiff, it was a very physical game. It was. It was. It did feel like one of the longest games. Um, yes. It, I don't know why. It just felt like a very, very long game, I think, because of the physicality of it. Um, a long day. It's a long travel for when we go down there, and especially Cardiff coming up today. I think mm. they were on the plane at 7 this morning. Yeah, oof. Uh, so, hopefully, a long day. <laughs> hopefully there's some morning people on their team. If not, that would, <laughs> that would be a bit disastrous. And I think they're flying back this evening, so a very long day for them. Definitely. Hopefully they can make it worth it once they're out here. Yes, definitely. So Cardiff look stacked to the left of the scrum. They don't actually have anyone to the right. So it looks like they're going to be going that way, using all their players. Scrum looks pretty even at the moment, with the ball coming up. Lauren Smith with a kick through. Abby's there to cover for Edinburgh. She taps the ball down. So I think it will be an Edinburgh dropout from the line. So another, this is a tough one, kicking into the wind. So we'll see how Sarah does here, whether they opt for maybe a shorter, more contestable kick, or if they're looking to get the distance in just now. 
She goes for the low kick, makes it a bit easier, but it's straight into Cardiff hands. Big run there. And they get set early. Cardiff looking to carry hard. But good, strong Edinburgh defence. Look like they've got the turnover, but taken back by referee there. So it's a Cardiff penalty just inside the Edinburgh 22. And they look for the quick tap. One of their players down, but they're still relentless. Keep going. I think, I don't know if Uni's managed to turn over the ball there. Cardiff. Cardiff have got possession. Um, Edinburgh Uni are on the, on the defensive. Oh, the um, you need to have Edinburgh you got the ball. Kieran Bale now has the ball and she's charging up the wing, but she's tackled. So we're having some technical difficulties um, here in the commentary booth. Uh, Mel's just trying to change the battery in her microphone, so do excuse us if we are n not paying a huge amount of attention to the game at the moment. Um, there's a stoppage in play. I think it's a, a scrum. A scrum to Edinburgh Uni. Hoping to hear, probably clear their lines um, and relieve some pressure a little bit. We have update on, we have successfully managed to change the battery in Meryl's microphone. So hopefully she will be up and running with her insightful knowledge um, any minute now. Yes, apologies for that. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, yes, hopefully that's fixed. <laughs> apologies for the interruption. But Edinburgh now attacking off that scrum. Number eight, Kira McCulloch running hard with the pick and go. A storming run, taking us up to the 22. That's a good 10 metres made there by Kira. Really good carry. Continuing that form momentum with Natasha Logan, again making that extra metre. Edinburgh doing really well just to get over the gain line each time. Running hard, maybe not making breaks every single time but they're definitely getting over the game line building that momentum fantastic pass by sarah out wide looking to get to kieran as we said a really top try scorer so yeah she's tackled there by uh, katie carr one oh and it's another advantage to edinburgh cardiff just diving in that ruck there See what they can do here with the advantage. Oh, not no quite. advantage. Going back to the penalty there, uh, not rolling away from the tackle. So Edinburgh's got an opportunity to get out of their own half here um, and start putting some pressure on the Cardiff Cardiff defence. So just as we come up, so that's the end of the first quarter there. 20 minutes in, still just five nil to Edinburgh. Not had a score in a while. Um, yeah, five nil to Edinburgh. I think Edinburgh have had most possession. Cardiff doing well now, keeping Edinburgh in their own half. But it's, it's a tight game. Tight game. I think it's still 5 0. Um, no tries have been scored. So hopefully either team can get some more points on the board. Imagine Cardiff will try and keep Edinburgh here in their own half for an hour. Another very stable scrum. They're looking good today. And a nice little pop there by Sarah into Holly, breaking through the line. Looking to get that quick ball now. I think their numbers out wide. Abu with a strong carry. It's a good tackle by Cardiff. Competing hard at the breakdown there. Another strong carry by Kira. The forwards really doing well today. They Not are doing a lot in. of the grunt work. <laughs> as usual. As as usual. Setting up for you. Back you backs do some fancy choice. stuff. Eliane is thrown to the ground there by her opposite number. Another great tackle. Cardiff defence still very strong. They are looking to compete more. I think maybe they've noticed Edinburgh. Um, I think they're just able to remove those errors. They'll be really able to put some pressure on. And Rhea with the, with the tap and go this time. 
I think Edinburgh maybe deciding against the line outs. Now the wind still still pretty strong. It's not died off no. just yet. So I wish I'd brought some gloves with me, I have to say. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's quite chilly over here in our little hut. <laughs> our, our, our gazebo. Our gazebo. Saz bossing nice it again slide from 10. There. Oh. Bit of a loose pass, pass from Amy. Kieran. Oh, she does well to keep a hold of the ball. She's Amy's a bit isolated. The Cardiff are oh, over nice oh and fast, oh but it's a really great clear out, clear out from Amy Watkins there. She does well to keep the ball. Edinburgh slowing it down a wee bit just whilst the rest of the team get there. Big carry from Natasha. Oh, great line from Siobhan McGinley there. Oh, um, off of Grace, really getting some nice forward momentum. Yeah, Grace in her, her first year at Edinburgh, but doing a Masters now in, a, in film, I believe. Yeah, originally from America. I think she's enjoying her time in yeah, Edinburgh. Great addition to the team. Absolutely. Cardiff have won the turn over there, getting in that rut quick and Edinburgh holding on. What are you thinking now? Who do you think standing out for you so far? It's tough. I think, um, I think it must be Katie Carr, I believe, or... Rosie Carr, I'll be honest, I'm not. The Cardiff front row are doing really well, getting in, keeping the scrum stable, but also they're looking for that jackal every time, I think. Mm. And they're they're doing well, they're getting it. Um, making really putting Edinburgh under pressure, forcing them to get support in quick. And, you know, they've won the penalty a few times. So I think that's something maybe Edinburgh needs to focus on. But yeah, the Cardiff front row are doing well. How about you? Yeah, I would Really, like, do have possession, but the next few wee grubbers through um, um, has been really hungry for the ball, so I think she's had a good performance so far. Cardiff just about winning their line out there, a bit scrappy, but they managed to keep hold of the ball. Ellis goes for the intercepts, but unfortunately can't quite regather it, so it's just penalty, not. No card, thankfully. Thankfully. It's <laughs> a penalty. I think that Carr are going to take the tap and go there, they do. That's Rosie Carr with the carry there. Good tackle there. Looking to fight that. Lauren, Lauren Smith caught a little bit there in, in no man's land. Um, Edinburgh able to come up and uh, and swallow her up. Good kick in behind from Lauren Smith there. Abby in to cover for Edinburgh, but she's hit hard by the Cardiff defence. Kieran does well to get in that rock, but Cardiff are competing hard there. I think Edinburgh have just about managed to keep a hold of it. But I think uh, Lauren Smith really offering with that kick option, it's mm. keeping Edinburgh on their toes. They're forced to really hold back in D, forcing. She's um, Abby Bruce to stay back. Yeah, and she's just she's actually just won our turnover for her team, so it's like she can do it all forwards. <laughs> <laughs> forwards work. Um, a wee basketball but throw there as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. But Edinburgh do turn that over. Unfortunately, maybe maybe stick to rugby, not basketball. Yeah, maybe. Not quite pulling it off that time. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have it all, can you? No, no. <laughs> so Edinburgh with a scrum. Everyone needs to catch their breath. I think it's been pretty hard yeah. the last few minutes. It's not really been a break. Another another lot of long phases of play um, seems to be reoccurring in this game. Interested to see what Edinburgh try and do here. They've tried a few different moves so far, working quite well. Holly McIntyre doing really well on the short lines, breaking through. Mm. So I imagine they'll go for something similar this time. They are stacked to the right. Kieran holding left just to keep that defender there, but I imagine they will go right. Another strong scrum there. Ball comes out from Rhea to Ten Sir Denham. And there we go. Oh, Just a like lovely said, line break. I did. On the short line. A lovely wee switch there, and Holly breaks Fantastic through. Early ball, getting it out wide. Straight to the wing. Ellie Burr on the wing there does well. Really good carry. What a fantastic move there. It was. It was that was a lovely a one to watch. On oh, Rhea with the quick break, and she's through. Oh, what a fantastic try. Not to sound biased. No. Uh, a really great there snipe from Rhea. That's one of the things she's very good at. Um, scanning, keeping her eyes up. Uh, saw the gap and went for it. So a really great try from Uni. Starting off with a really solid scrum from the forwards. Um, and then a really nice playing break from Holly. And finish off by Rhea. A really yeah. good team try.
fantastic move. They did really well to keep the speed up, didn't let Cardiff get back in time, <coughs> and Rhea just saw the gap and went. That's two tries to the Quarks today, Rhea and Eliane's sisters, of course. Of course, yes. So I think only a year apart, two years apart. Yeah, I think two years apart. So the Quarks doing well. I think their parents are here, so they'll be happy to happy to see that. Yes, yeah, so it's nice that they both got a try as well. <laughs> we we, we won't, we'd want, it. yeah, love sharing is scary. <laughs> so Sarah with the kick now. Another tough one. They don't like making it easy for the kickers. <laughs> You have had a, a few um, complaints about that in previous games, haven't uh -huh. you, Meryl? It's a tough one. She doesn't quite get it this time. Yes. Cardiff looking to regroup here. Um, ten points is not um, something that's not impossible to come back from, but uh, I think the next try will be crucial, and hopefully they'll be looking to make it them who score next before um, the halftime whistle goes, going into the changing rooms with um, something to hold on to. Yeah, looking into the last ten minutes of this half, so a big 10 minutes for Cardiff. If they can get the next score, then they're definitely still in this. But I think if Edinburgh managed to get that, they're taking it a little bit out of their grasp. But then again, there's still another 40 minutes after half time, so anything's possible. True, anything is possible. Holly with a good take there, giving it to Ellis to run through. Strong carry, takes in three defenders. Edinburgh looking to play a lot from their own half actually, but it seems to be working for them with another great carry from Eliane. Yeah, I'm not sure if the tactics may change in the second half when the wind is going the other way, or when the wind's behind them even. Picked up by I think Sophie Richards, I believe. Yeah, uh, really nice well. after a knock on by Abby Bruce. And now it's completely flipped. Cardiff in a really good position to attack just outside uh, Edinburgh 22. Coming in a bit tighter looking for that pick and go. I think Edinburgh getting a little bit bunched around the ruck there. You can hear calls to kind of keep their width and defence to prevent that attacking threat from Cardiff at 12 and 13. Some more strong tackles though. Some good line speed from Edinburgh, but they've managed to get it on the outside and Tidman's on her way out the wing. Oh, and they managed to get it wide. Oh, but it's a forward pass. A forward pass called oh. by referee Davidson there. That's very unfortunate. That was a really good break by, by Cardiff. They noticed that we had our, our front row on the wing for some reason and they managed to <laughs> to identify that and managed to ship it wide, use their pace, but unfortunately it's a forward pass. So Edinburgh scrum, 10 metres out, I think. Yeah, looking really promising there from Cardiff. Some really nice attack. Yeah, like you said, they identified the mismatch on the wing there. Um, you did hear the calls to get some width on that on that defensive line, but uh, numbers didn't come fast enough, and they managed to exploit it. So it's good scanning from the back back line there from Cardiff. Something Edinburgh maybe need to work on, <laughs> make sure that they're spread out evenly, make sure that doesn't happen again. Yep, indeed. Interesting to see if Edinburgh still try and run it out. It's quite a tough place to go from. Imagine so they'll try and hit it up, and then Edinburgh seems clear. A bit of a go forward in the scrum there, managed the eight pick quite quite cleanly but she's tackled by the oncoming flankers got off the scrum very fast Sarah doing well to boss the forwards about making sure that everyone's where she wants them nice kick from Sarah there just to relieve a bit of pressure yeah really good exit actually nice nice meters carried up by the forwards and then a uh, good kick from Sarah to clear the lines um, Ellie, Bo Ellie Burr does well there just to make sure that Cardiff can't take it quick like last time. <laughs> In fact, is it a. I think it might be a. Be Edinburgh Bowl? Oh, it is. It must have been touched before it went out. I'm not too sure. The line judge is saying Edinburgh Bowl. Oh, oh nice. Cardiff, Cardiff Ball. <laughs> okay, well. A bit optimistic. A nice fun guessing game, that one. <laughs> Disrupted by Edinburgh but picked up by Cardiff. Good work by Edinburgh just to make it a bit harder for Cardiff there. And it's a Cardiff penalty. Uh, not rolling from Edinburgh. And Cardiff looking to go quick. Big carry there from Katie Carr, getting through a ton of work today. Tidman again on the carry. And um, Cardiff looking to go wide now. Do oh. not keep a hold of that ball. Oh, but Kieran's turned it over. Picked up by a loose pass. Picked up by Kieran there, Straight driving her legs. Needs to fight to keep a hold of that ball now. I think it's still Edinburgh ball. A bit scrappy, but they do well. Really good from Edinburgh, just building through the phases. 
Sarah looks like she's set to kick. Really good identification that the 15's a wee bit shallow. And that's Tinman again. Really good cover. And she's away down the wing. She's stepped Ellie Burr there on the wing. But I think she's it's a knock-on. Good cover from Rhea, I think, to do well. Mm, yeah, managed to get the turnover. Neve Tinman at 15 looking really threatening for Cardiff. Every time she's caught the ball, she's look, looking to run it, looking to get that kick in. Really giving Edinburgh a lot of troubles there. Absolutely, yeah. A very, very big attacking threat. And it's uh, Edinburgh scrum just now. Uh, good opportunity, I think. Just exactly on the halfway line. See what they can do this time. They've thrown many interesting moves, trying something different each time, and it's really troubling the card of defence. Mm. So what, what are your bets on McIntyre getting the ball again? I think it might be quite high. Quite high. She's doing well running those lines. Yeah, um, she's also looking a very, very big attacking threat today. Always, always making meters when she gets the ball in hand. Imagine they'll try and get it wide to Kieran. Just see if she can get on that ball. And then Sarah on the loop, a loop. straight to Holly. Oh, a lovely Holly managed to get it pass. with Kieran. Kieran Kieran's just trying to use that pace. She's using outside. her step. Oh, she's gone. Away. See if she can beat them. Gassing down the wing. She's, no one's gonna catch well, her. Just it's gonna be so a try. Fun. Kieran. Fantastic team try, really great move, and she gets under the post. I was going to say, she's, learned. <laughs> she's learning under the post, wow. easy for Saz. Fantastic first phase try. Holly did really well to get the ball away under pressure, and Kieran's able to run it in. That's really great, so that takes it up to 15 nil now to Edinburgh. With the conversion to come, hopefully a little bit of an easier one for, for Sarah there, um, in front of the post, courtesy of Kieran. Um, it'll hopefully get up to 17 nil. And with that, Kieran's on nine tries. She's taken oh. top of the leaderboard now. How are you feeling? Oh, I'll take it. You'll take it's it. Great try. I think she deserves it. She's dead. It's all about the team. It's all about the team. There's no I in the team, <laughs> is there? But yeah, great try for Edinburgh. And those moves are working real treat. I think mm. they've definitely been practicing those past few weeks. Mm. Pulling oh. it off. Yeah, definitely. A lot. Well, I imagine both teams have been um, working really hard in the build-up to this game as the focus fixture. It's a big event for both teams, um, so you can tell there's been a lot of hard work um, from both sides today. Sarah Denham can't quite get the kick there, so it stays 15-0 to Edinburgh. With about four minutes left in this half, um, Cardiff will be looking to get um, some points on the board um, before they go into the changing rooms. Cardiff with the kickoff now. Maybe looking to retain possession from this kickoff, getting a big chase on um, and hoping to win the ball back. Ball's taken by Holly again, and again she makes some, some really good meters using her footwork and evasion. Cardiff defence up quick, making sure that Edinburgh don't get too many metres there. But there, Kieran McCulloch with a great carry, gets at least 10 metres, really great. And now they're looking to go blind again, but Cardiff cover well. Some good hands there for Martin to pass on to, to Grace, her front row partner. Big carry from Martin. Oh, and she's still going, not held in the tackle, so she keeps on going. Just taken down now, and Edinburgh on the front for it. Great carry from Sarah, just popping it off to Siobhan. Siobhan's having another great game as well. Yeah, Lots she's the big carries. Always on the shoulder, always looking for that offload. One of the one of her um, really good qualities as a rugby player. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think Adam have really upped it in the last few minutes, making sure that they've got that support in quick so that kind of can't go for the steal. Space out wide now if they can get it there. Oh, unlucky from Holly, just dropping the ball and I think Ellis picks it off from an offside position so it is a penalty to Cardiff. She's also lost her shirt in the process, I she's should. just putting that back on now, clearly giving it everything. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a Cardiff penalty, looks like they're going for the quick tap. Interesting decision, I guess they're in their own half but I suppose with the win that Maybe is the best option for the time being. They do have the wind behind them. Not sure. Oh, that's true. Maybe the the lineup's not quite going so well for them. Oh, there's a wee bit of a fumble oh, there, and Natasha, Natasha Logan well. picks it up. A really good strong carry from her again. 
great carry from Sarah, she's taken down there, but the meter's made. Another good carry from Siobhan. Think Sarah there's a looks like she's done something there. I think she might just be relacing her shoe. But the person who tackled her, I can't see who that is. I think Number that's three. Katie Carr, who looks like she's taken a bit of a clatter. Let's hope they're both okay. Edinburgh still going through the phases. Now without their ten to tell them what to do, hopefully they can still keep organised, keep going. I'm Looks not like they're doing well. sure if she's injured or if she's tying her lace. I think she's just taking she's she might have done her ankle maybe? She is uh, coming back from an uh, ankle injury um, a couple weeks ago. It's the last card I've given, in fact. It, you're right, it was it's the card actually. Of curse. The card of curse. <laughs> No, she seems to be alright, but the last game she had a, a watermelon as her ankle for a few weeks. I believe, yeah, and she did. She was a, a real soldier and, and carried on. It happened in the first 10 minutes and she carried on for the majority of the game. I don't know how she managed that because the trying to carry her from train to train on the way home was <laughs> um, certainly an interesting one. Physio's on, so hopefully she can get that checked out and not be okay. But meanwhile, everyone just takes a minute. It's been pretty intense. It's coming up to half time now. I'm sure in the in the next few minutes. She looks to be okay, just putting some weight on it. Edinburgh coach Claire Cookshank coming on there with I'm sure some words of wisdom for her team. And um, just settling the nerves a little bit. Um and I'm sure congratulating them on what a good job they're doing at fifteen nil up. Yeah, some really good rugby going on, I think. Edinburgh doing well of getting through the phases and then identifying when it's on wide. They're doing well there. Some great set piece. Scrum's mm. looking really solid. Back moves looking good. So I think lots to be happy about. Uh, yeah, I think she can't have too many complaints. It is an Edinburgh penalty now. Looks like they're going for the corner. Mm. Doesn't quite go to plan. Maybe the, the ankle just acting up a wee bit there. But Wind so too strong this time, maybe. Yeah. Taking it in. One direction. So I think it'll be a Cardiff 20 drop, 20 drop out, I believe. Or where the ball was kicked. Free kick. 22 drop out, I think. Yeah. Probably know this. Yeah, it's 22 drop out. I was right the first time. Just second guess myself. Like yourself. Definitely should know that, but. And that's a Lauren Smith with the drop kick. Interesting to see if she goes for distance or no one's short for Edinburgh if she's looking to take it short, but she does go long. Ball finds some from some Astro, picked up by Ellis Martin, who looks to move it and give the ball to McCullough, who carries well. Ellis straight into Ruck. Edinburgh looking to go wide. Really Lovely great hands pop. there from the forwards. Some big hits coming in. Again, Cardiff looking straight in for the Jackal, but Edinburgh do well to keep the ball. Getting it out wide. Another line by Holly. Really good. The ball is ripped, however. And, and carrying by... Uh, good win, I believe, number 14. Part of now on the counter. Made a lot of meters there. Edinburgh on the back foot, see if they can get back, get connected, stay organized. Rosie Carr there with the carry, but she's repelled by the Edinburgh defense. Looking, looking to go back down the blind side, given to the speedsters. Cardiff have got very narrow now. They've got one player sitting right on the touchline in case they look for that cross field, but everyone else is within within about 15 metres. Yeah. Looks like they're going for that pick and go option each time. Oh. They managed to win the penalty there. It's a, a quick tap and go from Lauren Smith. As she looks to go herself, she makes a good few metres there. Cardiff looking to really build some momentum into this. But she's hit nicely by Saz there. Number 14 still staying very wide. That's Amy Godwin. Hugging the touchline. I think Uni Edinburgh managed to turn it over somehow. I'm not sure who is responsible for that, but it's a good turnover there for, for Edinburgh. Looks to see if they try and run it out now. Looks like they've got numbers on. Yep, Saz shaving to kick and then tries to clear her lines. A good kick from her, finding some grass, doesn't bouncing around, swirly around, making it difficult for the full back of the winger to collect. Some good chase by Edinburgh. Managed to gain about 20 metres there. 
now they're connected. I'm trying to pin Cardiff back. Cardiff do look to be playing quite narrow, not really wanting to spread too wide too early. But now they go wide. There's a knock on there by Richards. Unfortunate um, there, they did well to find the space, but some good cover D from Edinburgh. Uh, that's the half time whistle been blown now. Um, as it stands, it's 15, 15 nil. nil to Edinburgh. Um, so there's a big second half to come. Yeah, some really strong, strong work by both teams. I think highlights Edinburgh attack has been looking really sharp, but then at the same time Cardiff defence, you know they've they've struggled at times, but I, they've been very strong throughout. Edinburgh have done well to break them down, so I think it's going to be a, a super tough second half. It's still very close. Yeah, still anyone's game really. I think the second half is going to be crucial for Cardiff. They need to come out, come out nice and strong. Um, maybe get some some subs and fresh legs on who can really make a big impact. Same for Uni um, to continue their forward momentum.
second half's about to start. Um, Edinburgh making a couple of replacements. Um, on for Grace is Sarah Donnelly. And Kirsty Martin is on for... I'm not sure who she's on for, but... Um, but Kirsty Martin coming on for her ELRC debut. And Kirsty Martin is on for, I've just been informed, Kirsty Ainsworth at number six. Both teams making to look a, a quick start here. And Cardiff kick off, caught by Siobhan McGinley. Cardiff into the win this half, Edinburgh have it behind them. Be interesting to see if that changes any tactics, if Sarah maybe looks to, to kick it a wee bit more. Cardiff cover is sitting quite shallow, we'll see what happens. Some good hands from Ellis there to collect that ball, which was maybe lifted by the wind a little bit. Another strong carry from Eliane, getting over the gain line each time she carries the ball. Not sure if any Cardiff replacements have come on. I can't see that they've made any changes as of yet. I'm sure they'll want to get some fresh legs on to really run that ball down the pitch. And Cardiff with a quick line out again. No one home for Edinburgh. Abby Bruce in the line. She needs to drop quick. Especially with a kicking option like Lauren Smith has. It's a really dangerous, really dangerous tactic for Edinburgh. And Edinburgh have turned the ball over. Not too sure how they've managed that. But looking to build the phases now. Getting set as soon as they can. Sarah Donnelly there, straight in over that ruck, making sure she makes a big impact on the game. There's the kick from Sarah, just trying to get touch. A fantastic kick. Ellie Bear on the chase, making sure they can't take a quick throw this time. Really good option there from Sarah. Really smart play, um, putting pressure on the card of defence, pushing them back into their own 22 um, and giving Edinburgh Uni some nice territory um, and hopefully disrupt this line out. I think that's some subs are being made for Cardiff just now. Um, yeah. Can't quite see who's, quite coming, see who's on. coming on. I think it looks like uh, Amy Godwin, number 14, has gone off. Coming on in her place. Can't see which number that is, unfortunately, but we'll let you know when we do. Just taking a minute now as Kira McCulloch, number 8, for Edinburgh just takes a second. She looks to be holding her face, hopefully she's okay. Maybe a nosebleed. She's coming off. It looks like Lottie Hesp is coming on for Edinburgh. Number 19 there. On for number 8. I think this is going to be a Cardiff line out. Um, hopefully Cardiff can um, retain ball and clear their lines or that Edinburgh can maybe get up and disrupt it. Cardiff do well just to slap the ball back. Oh no, Edinburgh turned it over. <laughs> Sorry, we've not got the best view. Yeah, there's there... a few scaffolding in the way. <laughs> but Edinburgh with the ball now, looking to try and get it wide. Great line from Amy there. Looking to go same way, numbers fold left. Sarah Donnelly carries the ball and it's brought to ground. It's a good tackle there from number nine from the from Cara Ellis doing well tackling Sarah Donnelly. It's a strong carry there from Abby Bruce. Oh, and she's in, I think. I think that's, that's a, Abby. I think, I think, I want to say that was Kieran, actually. Was it Kieran? Apologies, we do, as we said before, we don't have the best view. Um, no idea who that was. Great try for Edinburgh. Great try for Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure who that was, unfortunately. I think it was Abby, actually. I think was you were right, Meryl. Yes, it was Abby. She seems to get the congratulations <laughs> on the team. Um, either way, a good good effort there from all the backs to, to get that over the line. Um, a strong start from Edinburgh in the second half. Yeah, I think um, the forwards did well to win it at the, at the line out. And then just go, Edinburgh looking to go through the phases and just build on that. Takes the score up to 20 nil now to Edinburgh, stretching their lead a little bit. Yeah, Cardiff really struggling to hold on to possession, I think. Um, they just need to look after a ball a little bit, although their kicking option is 
very good. I think they're they're um, kicking away possession quite a bit sometimes, um, not getting the chase on that kick as, as, as quickly as they would like. So yeah. if they can hold on to the ball a little bit, might be able to um, get some scores. I think Edinburgh have done well to, to learn that that's a tactic that Cardiff are going to look to use, so they're getting that, making sure that cover's in there. Mm. Change of kicker there for Cardiff. I believe Easy Cottrell has taken over from Lauren Smith. I wonder if that's tactical change or maybe she just fancied a goal kicking. <laughs> Cardiff do win the scrum though with a knock on there for Edinburgh. Uh, uh, the first scrum of this half with the, the new front row in with... Um, with Sarah Donnelly on a tight head, Eli the tight loose head does not change with Eliane, but it'll be interesting to see if the change of personnel um, makes a difference to the scrums, which have been have been pretty even and pretty stable so far. Um, but it looks like a change in the in the pack for Cardiff, I think at number eight there. Not too sure who's come on there, but straight into number eight there. Cardiff holding their width. Abby Bruce sitting in directly in behind the scrum, so maybe Cardiff might look into the corner there. It's quite a big gap, but Ellie Burr sitting a wee bit deeper, maybe she's got that covered. With Kirsty Martin on at flank um, and Kira gone off with an injury, uh, Siobhan McGinley has moved to number eight and Kirsty has gone to uh, number seven flanker. This is her first game of full contact rugby in a while, I think, for Kirsty. Kirsty Martin. It is Kirsty Martin. Uh, I have to say, Nora quite well as one of my flatmates. She um, she's been focusing a lot of her time on touch rugby recently, having played touch rugby for the uni um, and been involved in with Scottish Touch. So um, this is her debut in rugby union for Edinburgh Uni um, as a master student, having done her undergrad at Stirling. I believe she's doing performance psychology as her masters. Must be strange to be back in a scrum after all that time. I know. I can tell you, it'll be a shock to the system. <laughs> And the dummy there from Cardiff player does well to get over the game line. Oh, Rio with the rip, but Lauren Smith does well to regather that still. But Siobhan is straight there on that turnover. She does First. very well, straight in. Bit messy at the moment, but Edinburgh have done well to, to keep that ball. Siobhan doing great. I'm not sure what's happened. A really great uh, piece of skill there from Siobhan. A penalty to Edinburgh and they take it fast with Rhea quick tapping, giving the ball to Ellis who makes a good few metres. Space out wide now from Edinburgh. Great ball from Sarah, getting it way quick. A lot of pressure on her from the Cardiff defence. It looks like Cardiff the turned it over. I believe that's number 18. Emily Parker's managed to turn over that ball. Um, although there is a player down, I believe it's uh, Eliane who's on the deck there. The physio coming over to oh, she's gone up she back in the line, brush, brush him off. Cardiff continue their forward attack. She goes straight in on that turnover again. Unfortunately, can't quite get it this time, but she's a real threat at the breakdown. She's getting so many turnovers every time, every game. So Cardiff need to be wary of that. Really good quick hands there from Cardiff. And it's turned over. Please have the ball. Holly, who's managed to pick up that ball. Sierra clears the lines with a, with a mm. kick, but straight to the winger, who's knocked it into touch. A bit lucky there from Edinburgh. Cardiff touched the ball there, so it's an Edinburgh Edinburgh line out. I think Just the right idea from, from Sarah, not yeah. quite getting the distance on it, but real good. Yeah, it'll be Edinburgh line out on the halfway at this point. Hopefully they can make the most of this really good attacking opportunity. Do you think they'll look to carry it up or hit wide? I reckon they'll look to go wide first. Seems to be the consistent style of Edinburgh's play is getting the ball wide. Um, one of the one of the trademarks of our of the, uni, the Edinburgh uni team. Mm. It's a four man line out looks of things. A front ball, overthrown, um, so it's not straight, so it'll be a, a card of scrum, a bit unlucky there um, from the uni, the wind may have just taken the ball, um, but a good attacking platform for Cardiff. And that's Kira McCulloch <coughs> back on the pitch, so Lottie Hess returns to the bench, I imagine Kira will go back to number eight. Mm. 
great to see so many supporters down today to share the, the union. You can really hear them, not sure you can hear them through the live stream, but they're definitely making their presence felt. Definitely, yeah, it's really great that we're getting so many supporters down on a Wednesday afternoon. Yeah. Um, not, the, not the best weather either, so exactly. great to have them down. Uni have managed, Edinburgh Uni managed to turn over that scrum. Um, really good work from Rias, pick up the ball. Some really nice interplay there with Siobhan getting on the end of that ball. I believe Cardiff managed to turn that over though. Um, I don't think Uni were, Edinburgh Uni were expecting that. That ball there maybe weren't quite up as quickly as they would have liked to have been. I think Sarah Denham's just taking a knock. Hopefully she can. Hopefully she's okay and she get back up. Edinburgh managed to turn it over again. Kier with the carry. They are without their number 10 at the moment. I think the ref's just calling it back. So she can get some treatment. Yeah, let's just hope she's just had a bit of a knock. She has gone through an awful lot of work today, not just in her distribution, but in her carrying as well. So she'll, um, she'll especially as you were saying, first game back, she might be feeling the, the effects of that. But it looks like Kira McCulloch's down, down again. Um, hopefully she's okay. Yeah, yeah, a lot of pressure on, on Sarah running the game at 10 but also as captain trying to keep the team motivated to get the energy up really organizing she's got a lot of a lot of things to to think about on a game day yeah her her she's only in her third year but it's her first year as captain and then she's done a really really great job um especially through covid times um of keeping the team together motivated um and she's a really great leader so we're, we're lucky to have her as our captain yeah definitely hopefully she's okay she looks like she's back up Honestly, it would take take a lot to take Sarah Denham off the pitch, I think. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think she'd have to lo lose, a, lose a limb before she came off. So I'm not too sure. I think it might be an Edinburgh scrum. We were in possession when the whistle was blown. Yep, Edinburgh scrum. Edinburgh just splitting their backs behind the scrum. Wonder what they'll do this time. It's quite exciting. It is. Never knowing what's going to happen. Amy moving around just now. Looks like ball's going to go left off the scrum with Ellie Burr holding the width on the right hand side pretty much by herself. Imagine Sarah will try and ship it early. Cardiff have been really identifying her now, singling her out, putting a lot of pressure on her. So if she can get the ball away early, I think there'll be a lot of space out wide. Cardiff matching the defenders all to the right as well. First we need a, a strong, stable scrum. Well, it's got Ed the uni Edinburgh have got some go forward there. Ball comes out to Sarah and shipped out quite quickly to Abby. Oh, a lovely line by Holly again. She manages to get it away to Kieran somehow. Oh, Kieran is Big up hit. ended there. Um, doesn't look like the referee's going to blow it for anything. She doesn't seem to land on her, her neck or head. So just a good, good solid hit there. And Cardiff, Cardiff. They managed to turn it over. Fortunately, there was a knock on just then. Fantastic hit from Cardiff. Really good defence. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, identified um, Kieran as a threat on the wing there, so shutting her down as early as possible, not allowing her any room to run. Some good interplay from Edinburgh again. Maybe they need to look for something different. I think Cardiff have noticed where their strong points are. They're getting some cover in there early now. Cardiff look like they're about to make some changes, maybe. A lot of space out wide if Edinburgh can get it there. Looking to score off first phase like they have been um, in, pre in previous set-piece attacks. I think it's become a real superpower of the team, set-piece. Yeah, ball's come straight out of that scrum though. I think it'll just be a reset um, uh, Edinburgh Uni ball. Thank you. Just been brought a lovely cup of tea there um, to warm up our, our cold hands sitting on the side of the pitch. Perks of the job. Perks, yeah, exactly. <laughs> The scrum's been reset, uh, looks like everyone's ready to go. The 
you, Edinburgh managed to get the ball out, get the ball to Sarah. Oh, a really the nice switch again. there from Holly. Move. Holly breaking through the line, really great there with line from Holly. Great cover tackle from Cardiff. Edinburgh try and go the same way. Oh, Abby's dragged down 10 metres short there. Another fantastic move from Edinburgh. I think that that's one for the to keep one for the highlight reel. Yeah. <laughs> Edinburgh probably looking to go wide now. I think they have penalty advantage. See what Sarah can Some do. Great hands there from Sarah Donnelly to shut the ball on to Eliane. Looking to go the same way now. I think if they can get it wide, they've got a lot of numbers. Lovely oh, inside line inside there from Siobhan. Really, just really short. just short. I think they're on the five metre line now. Saz managed to get the ball out wide and oh, Amy dives over fantastic. the line. Another great try from Edinburgh there from Amy Watkins scoring it. Really good patience there from Edinburgh, trusting if they go through the phases, the spaces will open up for them. And that works super well. Edinburgh just, Sarah just drawing the Cardiff defender and the space opening up for Amy. So that takes it up to 25 nil to Edinburgh now. Yeah, some really solid, good um, team play there. Um, again, Hol Holly McIntyre on that really, really nice line. Um, her and Sarah playing really well together. A lot of um, really nice interplay, and she's um, really storming up midfield off the offset piece. Although, still not making the case particularly easy for Sarah. She does have the wind behind her this time, but it's very far out. She's brought it quite far back as well trying to give herself the best angle, but it's a tough kick. A lot going on at Peffermill today. Um, Bucks Wednesdays are always uh, a busy time for Peffermill. A lot of sport going on. Football, hockey. Um, so it is, there's a bit of a buzz down here at Peffermill. Um, and hopefully the, the Edinburgh Uni girls can come away with a, a good win. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Very busy. We've got some football going on behind us, hockey on the other pitches. Yeah, hoping to not get hit by a football. <laughs> no. And the trains and the ambulances, it's very, <laughs> very loud. Again, it's you see Cantrell that's taking the kick. I'm not sure. Gathered, gathered there by McIntyre again, they seem to be kicking her to her frequently. Um, despite her managing to take, take the ball quite well, might need to rethink that tactic a little Lo bit. Lovely pass from Sarah, getting the ball out wide, although still a really good cover from Cardiff. They're doing well just to bring down the player, not giving the opportunity to get any more metres, and they win themselves the penalty there. And they look to go fast again. Both teams opting for the quick taps today. Yes, the wind may be making that the best option. It's carried up there by Emily Parker. Ball seems to have been lost. I think that was just a, maybe a knock on from Edinburgh in the tackle. Um, so it'll just be a scrum to Cardiff, but a good attacking platform for them having been in the Edinburgh half this time. This is a really good position for Cardiff now if they can find a, a good set piece move to break down the Edinburgh defence. They've got lots of options. The, the scrum just to the side, but I think options both sides if they want them. Again, Abby sitting quite tight in behind the scrum, so I wonder if they'll look to go for the corner. We know that both uh, Lauren Smith and Neve Tinman keen keen kickers, mm. so I wouldn't be surprised. Scr oh, uh, it's a penalty. Cardiff have got the scrum here. I think that's it. Probably angling in there by the Edinburgh Uni scrums. Cardiff have managed to get it. Lauren Smith with a really nice offload, but it's picked up by McIntyre. She does really well just to, to stop the attack there, get her hands in the way and steal that ball. Edinburgh just slowing the ball down now, waiting for themselves to get set. Really good game management. The Edinburgh Uni scramble defence has been tested quite a bit, but their um, set-piece defence hasn't been tested an awful lot. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if Cardiff can manipulate that and um, show some weaknesses in it, but it's held up well so far. Yeah, I'm sure Gordon, our, our defence coach, would be happy with yes. how it's been so far. Yes. <laughs> Although, having said that, Cardiff have just turned it over, I think. Oh, yeah, I think they have. Mm -hmm. It's a bit scrappy, but they do keep the ball there. I think that's uh, EC Cantrell carrying the ball there. Shipped wide there by the forwards, nice interplay, but it's dropped by Richards. Good pressure from Kieran on the wing there, making making life hard 
for, for Cardiff. I believe that's uh, Lottie Hesp on. I think, yeah, I think she was come back off with her, with her injury. I'm not too sure what it was, but hopefully she's okay. Score still sitting at 25 nil to Edinburgh. Um, Cardiff will all need to score next if they want to stay in the game. That was a good option there from good option there from Sarah. Just not really get Edinburgh not really getting anywhere with the carries, so just looking for that kick in behind, getting some territory and just easing the pressure a wee bit, giving everyone a minute to catch their breath. Yeah, Edinburgh haven't really been giving Cardiff a look in. Um, really clearing their lines nicely there and um, we'll see her orchestrating that with her kicking. Big line out now from, from Cardiff. I think that's the Cardiff 9 coming off um, and she's being replaced by, I'm not sure what number, but she is being replaced. <laughs> Cardiff managed to steal that, I think. Oh. Yeah, it's a knock-on from Edinburgh there, so Cardiff manages to drop that line-up quite nicely. It's a Cardiff line-up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought that was an Edinburgh line-up. It's a Cardiff line-up, so they're able to uh, keep retain possession there despite Edinburgh disruption. It has been quite stop-start this second half. A lot of scrums. But scrums have been holding up really well, looking really solid, pretty even. I don't think there's been any scrum turnovers just yet. Just the one scrum penalty, I think, just from that last scrum there. So the Edinburgh front row will be looking to just to um, secure that a little bit um, and try and push over and win this ball back. Scrum seems to have collapsed there. Commentary discourse. I know, I know. Maybe the, the change in personnel creating a bit of um, a bit of friction there in the front row, but hopefully they can get it sorted and we can get this ball out. Because as, as much as we love scrums, <laughs> multiple reset scrums isn't always the nicest to, to watch. So, so with Cara Ellis going off for Cardiff, it looks like Sophie Richards has moved into number nine, as number thirteen has moved into number nine. Not too sure who we have now in the backs. A different outside centre. Hopefully, she'll be looking to inject some energy and some pace into the Cardiff team. It's a, a, a nice solid scrum there. Cardiff managed to get the ball out. And she's number 22. That's Laura Satterley that's come on. Kira Reeves there carrying the ball nicely up into midfield. Emily Parker again with the carry. She's been busy since she's come on. Lauren Smith Ooh. again with a kick through, really nice kick. Abby Bruce does well to cover that, just gets back in time, but the Cardiff defence is strong. They're putting a lot of pressure on her. Holly McIntyre does well to cover back there and just secure the ruck. Edinburgh have taken it with uh, Natasha Logan carrying it up. I think Cardiff may have turned the ball over though. A really good piece of uh, defence there from Cardiff and they've managed to win the ball back. Ooh, a big hit coming in. Um, she seems to manage to keep her feet and present back to her team. Part of opting for the pick and go now, staying tight around the ruck, but the Edinburgh defence is holding strong. I believe that was the, the 10 Sarah Denham stopping that pick and go. Really nice piece of skill yeah. from her. Lovely passing from Cardiff now, almost in at the corner. I think they're stopped just half a metre short. Edinburgh defence getting tested now. It's Cardiff look for the pick and go. Seem to Edinburgh seems to be doing well at repelling this on their goal line here. A lot of space out wide if Cardiff choose to go there. Edinburgh but need to be careful Edinburgh not doing to well. give away a penalty here. Cardiff girls absolutely screaming for the ball out wide. Tenman, you can see um, throwing her arms up. The oh, anger that she's not got it. Lauren Smith goes blind and I think she's got it. I think that is a try to Cardiff. I think that was Lauren Smith just seeing the space back blind. Yeah, it was. I don't. I think whoever it is has injured themselves in the process. Um, not 
not too sure who scored it that, was, actually. It was, in fact, Lauren Tinman, yeah, Laura, Laura, Smith, Laura Smith. Laura Smith. Laura Smith, sorry. Yeah, that was Laura Smith who got that try there. Um, Lauren Smith, yeah, the one who got that try. Uh, really heads up, good heads up rugby from her. Noticed that no one was home blind um, and just sniped around the corner. Um, so, yeah, good piece of skill there from Cardiff. Managed to, to get some points on the board. They'll be pleased with that. Takes the score to 25 points to five. Uh, a tough kick coming up for, I think it is Lauren Smith looking to take that kick. Just on the, on the five metre line, a really challenging kick. Strong effort, but I think just short. So the score remains 25 points to five. Uh, Cardiff look set, ready to go. I think they'll really try and bring it back now. I think that point will have given them a lot of confidence. Uh, they really built the phases there and then took advantage of that. So I think there's a lot of positives there for them. Absolutely, yeah, they'll be looking to build on that. Um, get this ball and put, start, put some pressure on and Bruyne. And, and try and replicate replicate what they've just done. I think it's all about game management now for Edinburgh. They've done really well so far in the game. They just dropped off for the last five or so minutes, so they just need to bring that back now. They've got a few new subs on now. Um, Natalie Natalie Roberts, number 22. Ooh, no, Natalie Roberts wearing number 21, in fact, has moved into fullback for Edinburgh. I think Abby Bruce has gone off can't quite see yeah, yes Abby has in fact gone off so yeah Natalie Robertson at full back I think there's a, a player down there for Cardiff though um, referee Hollis uh, stop play Natalie Roberts has been playing really well for the, the second team recently uh, she played just last week had a really strong performance so it's really good to see her coming up in, to the first team so hopefully she can make an impact really stamp her mark. Absolutely, and another um, American student, she has been integral to the two's team um, and has really stepped up in this one's game. I'm hoping to see a lot more of her this season, this half of the season. Just one of the Cardiff players down at the moment, so both teams catching their breath. I can't tell if it, she's lying down, I can't tell if it's a head injury or neck injury. But they seem to just taking, as they should, precautions to make sure that she's okay. Although the players will be getting quite chilly, I'd imagine, as the wind picks up once again. I do realise it's a very Scottish thing to keep yeah, <laughs> talking about the weather, it. but not that we've mentioned it at all. But it is, I mean, definitely sat here, but we can feel it. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not used up at all. I was hoping that maybe as the day went on it would get a bit easier, but nope. Looking ahead to next week, um, Edinburgh have got Loughborough um, away down in Loughborough, which will be, I think, a really, really um, good game to play. I think Loughborough are sitting second in the table, and we're sitting, Edinburgh and are sitting third in the table. Yeah. Um, so that'll be a really good top of the table clash um, and can really change up how the point system is looking. Yeah, um, definitely. I think last time Loughborough off Edinburgh, it was a, a very close game. The Edinburgh just winning 12 points to five. So I imagine it'll be a very tight game, uh, especially with the travel, an away game, it's a, a long way to go, so hopefully the team can take that in their stride and really put up a good performance next week. It's a tough few games next for Edinburgh, we've got Loughborough away, Hartbury at home and then Durham away, so a really tough end to the season, but I'm sure the girls will be able to put in a big shift in all those games. Yeah, definitely, I think... Um Edinburgh as the only Scottish university in this league they do have a lot of uh, travelling to do but I think I mean it's always a, it's always a good experience travelling down with your team 
uh, really bonding everyone together um, and sa- as cliche as it sounds making memories <laughs> um, but we, yeah we're privileged to be in this league and play at this high level the highest level in the UK for university rugby um, and I, I think everyone enjoys every single minute of it so we're very lucky that is uh, EC Cantrell just going off now for Cardiff hopefully she's okay she's had a really strong performance today so Cardiff will be We'll be sorry to see her leave the pitch. Um, hopefully she's okay. But we return now with a scrum. I believe it's Cardiff Ball. Yeah, Cardiff put into the scrum. Kara Ellis has come back on now, I think, with EC Cantrell going off. So a bit of a rearrangement to the Cardiff back line. Scrum taking place just in the Cardiff half here, so Cardiff will be looking to, to maybe get some territory um, and put Edinburgh back in their own 22. Nice clean scrum for Cardiff, uh, Lauren Smith carries, passes, ball goes nice and wide, there's a bit of space out there for her, steps back inside from Kira, Kira Reeves there. Nice She's taken to the ground. Nice double hit there. Amy Watkins going low, Holly McIntyre going high, able to drive her back a few metres. A really oh. great hit from, from Sarah there. And that's a penalty now to Cardiff. I think Ellis just attack, playing the nine there. I, th- I think it was maybe not rolling away there in the, in the oh. tackle. She, Ellis had her hands on ball, but tackler hadn't rolled away fast enough. Cardiff look like they're going for the quick tap again. There they go. Nice little Carried tip in. line. She's hit nicely by Eliane. Seems to be a little... So, uh, Brian Aon for Edinburgh Uni as well as a replacement. Yeah, you can see her, the scrum hat helps pick her out. This is her, her first game for the, the first team this season, I believe? I believe so, yes. Yeah. She's a, another integral part of our twos team. Um, captain, I believe, has been captain for the twos. Um, now making her debut for the ones. Yeah, really great to see the, the strong performers for the twos able to, to get that opportunity to play for the ones, really show what they can do. Really pushes everyone to, to play their best. Definitely. A nice kick there from Lauren Smith. Uh, no one really home in the backfield. Uh, Nathan Roberts chasing back there, managed to get ball. Um, done quite well there with good, some good feet to avoid the first tackle, but is eventually brought down by the Cardiff on rushing defence. Edinburgh now just looking to collect themselves. Some good D from Cardiff. Big carries from Edinburgh. Lots of space wide if, if Edinburgh can do that. Cardiff D holding strong but perhaps not folding as much as they could. I think everyone getting, oh, great charge down there from the Cardiff player. They do well to keep the ball. Kirsty Martin there wrestling for possession from the Cardiff player but I think Cardiff, have ma- I know Edinburgh have got the ball, managed to get possession back, picked up by, by Ellis Martin there who takes the ball forward. Cardiff players really making their themselves heard, making sure that their players can hear them, pulling them out wide. I think the scramble defence, they're doing really well, they're making some strong hits, but it's getting a bit panicked now. It's been a while since they've stopped you play. Yeah, there'll be there'll be some tired bodies out there. Again, it has been a very physical game, very forwards heavy game with some, with some nice flair from the backs. Nice dummy there from <coughs> Sarah, unfortunately can't quite be held. Uh, luckily, a knock-on from Cardiff. Otherwise, I think uh, I think Sophie Richards might have been away there at number 13. She did well to collect the ball. Yeah, with Siobhan um, hanging on to her bootlaces there. <laughs> so it's a scrum to Edinburgh. I think Cardiff just making a couple of changes. That's number six, Amy... No, number five, sorry. Katie Mackay just going off the pitch. Some, some chatting going on in the front row there. 
sure just asking how everyone's day's been going <laughs> as we do in the front row small talk do, just yeah chat. just chat chat away chat and push that's, that's it that's all we do <laughs> It's a really nice attacking platform here for Edinburgh. They'll be looking to, to follow off the back of what they've been doing all game, really. Um, punching some holes in defence through McIntyre and Watkins in, the, in their centre partnership. Nice little switch line there. Holly does well, breaking over the line. Oh, I think it looks like Holly's got a cramp <laughs> yeah, she's in the middle of the pitch. Not the most convenient place to get a cramp, but... Hopefully it's just cramp and nothing okay. too serious. And we're just looking to go through the phases now. Sarah getting that kick in again. Really good option now with the wind behind them, but covered well by Cardiff. Looking to go on the outside. A missed tackle there from Ellie. Oh. Uh, Tinman's on her way down the wing. A nice oh, chip in front. Chip and chase. Got some real pace. Ball's bouncing nicely for her. Oh, oh, very unfortunate there. Just can't quite get the uh, the second kick in. And the ball goes out of play, but really good break, really lovely chip. Yeah, really nice attack from from Tinman there. Um, unfortunately, Ellie Burr missing that tackle there, but really nice footballing skills. Um, unfortunately, a rugby ball does not never bounce the way you <laughs> want it to, and um, it's just rolling into touch five meters for the Edinburgh Edinburgh try line. But hopefully, you can get up and disrupt this and maybe get um, get some possession back. Yeah, I think Tinman's been playing really well today. She's covered that so well. Um, Sarah Dan, I'm looking to get find the space in behind, but Tim has got it covered. Yeah, and then a great break. So seems to be a bit of stoppage here. Um, I think that's just Holly recovering from her cramp, but seems to be making her way back over back to the Edinburgh half after receiving some treatment. I hope she's okay. She'll be running the length of the pitch at this in the next play. Yeah. <laughs> I know they seem to be using her in every every move. <coughs> she's doing really well at 13. Not her, her favourite position, she's more of a, a scrum half, but she's uh, adapted well, I think. Yeah, definitely. She's a great all-round rugby player um, and has slotted really nicely into the centre partnership with uh, with Watkins there, having having a few players out with injury. Um, so yeah, lucky, lucky to have such versatility in the Edinburgh Uni team. Bit of a scrappy line out there, but Edinburgh do well to regather. Now I imagine they'll look to go through the phases. They are on their own 10 metre line, so a long way to go. A really good latch um, and carry there from Branny and Lottie to, to keep Edinburgh going forward and off their try line. Bit of a slower breakdown there. Ball goes blind back to Martin, who's held up in the tackle there. I think Cardiff doing well to, to target ball. They've got usually got one player going low, one player going for the ball. Um, it's working quite well for them. Ball going back to zero oh, kicks, but it's charged down, down by Lauren Smith. Picked really up good. by Rosie Carr there. She did really well to identify identify Sarah, knew that she was getting the ball in that, in that play. But she's oh. hit a tackle. Hit. By, I think that was Elian there, a really great tackle. Oh, um, just knocked down there. Oh. oh, Lauren Smith hit hard there by Siobhan, but I think the Cardiff team have got the knock-on advantage, so it will be their scrum. Yeah, I think it was just a knock-on in the tackle there. Unfortunate for Edinburgh. Uh, Lauren Smith trying to make something out of nothing. Almost does, but unfortunately hit down there. Hit down. A, a great hit. I see that it's Elian Clark and Holly Smith. Holly Smith? Holly McIntyre coming off. Um, I believe that's that's Grace Linaz coming back on the field and Abby Bruce coming back on the field as well. Um, Eliane and Holly both had super games today. Both played vital roles. Done really good ball carries. Some some great breaks as well. Yeah, both both had some some great moments during the game. Um, so they've done their work. Day's job today. <laughs> yeah, I think coming up to the last ten or fifteen minutes now. Um, looking to get some, some fresh legs on the pitch. Everyone's going to be knackered. It's been a very physical game for both sides. And now Cardiff have the scrum a really good attacking opportunity if they can get the ball out wide. Lots of options. The Cardiff seem to have, have got some go for in that scrum, managed to get the, the ball out to Lauren Smith there. Lovely pass out the back. 
to Kira Reeves, takes it into some contact, but is ma ma matched nicely by um, Sarah Denham there, managed to hold her up along with Rhea Clark. I do see some knees on the floor, so they have to let her down now. A lovely oh. inside ball there from Lauren Smith to Katie Carr. Cardiff looking to keep going the same way. Well, another basketball pass there from Lauren. Oh, Space on the outside for Cardiff. Managed to bring it back in. They're doing really well now to build the phases. Edinburgh, Edinburgh defence just needs to tighten up a little bit, I think. Creating some Edinburgh defence, creating some real problems at breakdown there. Uh, slowing the ball down. Some really great work, but Cardiff managed to retain possession. Um, some big hits coming in from Edinburgh now. Right on their own line. Having to put them in as Cardiff look to go wide now. Looks like the number's on. Awesome, oh, fantastic defence from Ellie there, knowing to just to cut in. She was numbers down, so she had to come in and it managed to work for her. And Edinburgh managed to steal the ball. Turn the ball over. Some really great defence there from Ellie Burr on the wing. It was a two on one. Cardiff will be disappointed that they didn't score that there. Especially after screaming for the ball to come out. I think they just didn't do too much to manipulate the defence. Cardiff ball now, they go for the quick tap. I'm not sure Edinburgh are back. Back 10. Carr again with the carry. Some really good defence from Natalie there, Natalie Roberts. Cardiff looking to go the same way. I'm not sure they have numbers though. Tinman on this left side screaming for the ball. Ball comes out. I think if they can get it wide, I'm sure if they've got two on one this time, she won't make the same mistake. But I think a knock on from Edinburgh perhaps? Uh, I think it was a, yeah, it was a knock on. So Cardiff will have the scrum. Some really promising plays from Cardiff. Yeah, they've really stepped up in the second half, I think, um, in terms of their attacking intent, and they've looked very dangerous, um, getting their, like, obviously getting their first try of the match, but also um, a couple of opportunities that have just gone slightly awry in the last the last play of the game. But, um, yeah, have done. I think they've step, stepped up in the second half. It is still 25 points to 5 to Edinburgh, so if Cardiff are looking to, to turn this game around, they really need to get some points on the board soon. Uh, they've got at least three tries they need to score so they'll be looking to get some quick ball and get get scoring soon still very achievable I'm sure they've shown a lot of promise in the past 15 minutes balls come out there Aria's managed to um, get, get the nine and put her under pressure but Richards is a really nice offload to, to Smith there ten men getting the ball I don't think that ball should have gone. I did. Oh. She did get it out to Reeves, but um, maybe a little bit too late. Um, Lauren Smith looking to run around everyone. Oh, fantastic handoff, but a good tackle from Amy. I think Tinman there um, should be playing really well, but I think that had to go. Yeah, I think Trippmore just trying to do a wee bit too much herself. Yeah. Um, and a two-on-one there that could have been executed by Tinman. I think just held on to that ball for a little bit too long, allowed the defence to come across um, and deal with it really nicely. To be fair, from the end of the defence. Some really good defence from Edinburgh managed to get from their own five metre line up to the 22. Cardiff have been non-stop, so it's been hard for Edinburgh, but they've been doing well. I think it's a looks like a Cardiff penalty though. I'm not too sure what for. Um, I think that's maybe the the, the ARs have picked something up there. Oh, offside. Um, offside, yeah. Discipline. The defence has been really strong, so they're just letting themselves down there giving Cardiff that opportunity to just run at them. Cardiff about 10 metres out from the, the Edinburgh line here. Oh, they seem to just the lost ball. the ball, but it's gone backwards and um, picked up. But I think it's been picked up by Abby I there. Was, was it, uh, I think it might have been Kirsty. I think, I think you're right, Kirsty that Martin. is Kirsty. My, yep. oh. Another, a, a big dummy from Laura, a Lauren Smith. And she's got it in under, uh, just for a try there. I think she's notorious for that dummy. That's that, it was quite something special, I have wow. to say. I've never seen one like that before, but it was pretty convincing as, <laughs> as the Edinburgh line drift off her and she managed to go through for a try. So I think that takes the scoreline up to 25 points to Edinburgh, 10 points to, to Cardiff with the conversion still to come. I think Edinburgh will be disappointed there. The defence held really strong. Um, she just slipped off her when she threw that dummy, but fair play. She's, she's had a strong game conducting the, the Cardiff team so I think 
well deserved points there for Lauren Smith. That's her second try of the game, I believe. Yeah, she scored um, all of Cardiff points so far, and and she is going to be taking the conversion as well. Um, yeah, she controlled the game very nicely. I think some some a well deserved try for her. Um, Cardiff were really nice and patient there. They were in in the 22 for a while on the 10 meter line, got pushed back, managed to win the penalty, and come forward and score. So some really nice patience there from Cardiff. Fairly straightforward kick, but with this wind, I'm not sure any kick has been straightforward today. Yeah, straight through the posts. That, that's full time, I believe. So the final score then, 25 points to Edinburgh, 12 points to Cardiff. I believe so, yeah, a, a pretty convincing win there from Edinburgh, but Cardiff really did bring it bring it back in the second half um, and demonstrate some really good um, put together some really good attacking phases and Lauren Smith managed to get two tries so I think they'll be pretty pleased pleased with that. Yeah, some really good play from both team. I think Edinburgh are a lot more dominant for perhaps the first 60 minutes and then Cardiff bringing it back in the last 20. They'll be disappointed with, uh, with that score I imagine. They really played well towards the end but a lot of promise, a lot of positives for Cardiff I think. Looking forward to their next game I'm sure they'll have things to work on but they'll be happy with that performance. Yeah, I think both teams should be pleased. Um, some good, some good performances out there from lots of players. Um, I think from from Cardiff, uh, Smith and Timman have really stood out. Um, and forwards with Rosie and Katie Carr doing some really good carries. Um, really dominant up front. Um, from the uni team, I think um, Ellis Martin and Eliane Clark some really strong carries. And then obviously Sarah Denham at ten, really controlling it with her kicking. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you very much for joining us today for this live stream. Hopefully you've enjoyed the game as much as we have. A very close game, some really good rugby from everyone involved. Yeah, absolutely, I think. Um, hope everyone's enjoyed the game. Um, and hopefully you won't have to hear from us again if you did enjoy yeah. it. But hopefully you'll hear from us again if you did enjoy it. Yeah.